Now we're going to talk about a couple of common errors and faults which you can see on a CLP pump station. Errors are nothing to worry about too much. It's just an indication that the pump station is not running in the right scenario. It's actually protecting the pump and shuts it down so that it doesn't break down or burn out. So Mike, what's this here? It looks like it's a quick reference guide for all the fault codes. Yep, that's exactly what it is. The first scenario we're going to talk about is fault 18, which is deadheading. So what does that mean, like that there's no flow? Yeah, it could be two scenarios. It could be no flow or very low flow. So it could be a, a master valve is shut or a gate valve is shut, or it could be a valve partially open. So the pump is running at its max performance, but there is no way to push that water out anywhere. We got our master valve here. I can check that. Should we check that first? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Yep. What you got, Jim? Master valve is closed. All right, I'm opening it back up here. And then uh, we should be good to go, right? Absolutely. Is that it? Yeah, I'm just going to reset it and we're good to go. Yep, light went off. Before we start the pump, let's make sure the discharge isolation valve is open. Yep. Yep, that's right here. Turn the pump into auto. All right, Mike, we ready? Let's do it. All right. The next scenario we're going to talk about is the THM faults. Uh, it looks like here the THM stands for motor thermal overload. What is that like the, the motor seizing up? Exactly. If you don't run the pump station for a long time, the impeller gets stuck and then it seizes. Is that uh, from rust? Correct. When the pump gets a signal, it tries to run, it cannot, but the motor overloads and it trips. So that's the fault you're seeing in here. So how do we figure out how if the motor is actually seized up? Why don't you just turn the power off, Jim, and then let's get into the motor fan. So this is the motor cover. It has three screws which holds it tight. We need to take off those three screws to get it out. This is the actual motor fan. Let's check if it will turn. It's pretty stuck. That means the shaft is jammed. The impeller could be stuck. There might be rust in there. So the best thing you could do is call up our GSP and have a service technician out here to help you service this pump station. The last scenario we talked about, it could be because the pump station has been sitting idle for a long time. Before we start up the pump, we want to make sure it's greased up properly. So there is two ports on the pump itself, which is going to grease the bearings. Before we start up the pump, let's make sure the discharge isolation valve is open. Turn the pump into auto. All right, Mike, we ready? Let's do it. All right. <laughs> 